Hello everybody, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. My name's Colton Ignonfo and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. If you remember in the last episode, I got pissed off at my truck. I completely, utterly got pissed off at my Kenworth T680. Simply because I ended up getting a uh, no headlight on ticket when I went through a way station, if you remember that. Went through a way station and as soon as I rolled through it, it said I had my I had no headlights on. And uh, I got a ticket off of it. It was like a $300 or something ticket. And I got extremely pissed off at that because in the Kenworth T680, they don't have it modeled correctly. So when you flip the lights on, you're supposed to be the, the light's supposed to be green on the switch to illuminate to, to let you know that your headlights are on. Well, in this case, it didn't tell me. And it pissed me off. So because of that, I got really irritated and I ended up trading it in after that and now I'm here and I bought this Freightliner. So if you haven't watched the last episode, please go back and watch the other episode so that way you understand a little bit better on how I'm here. So that episode we ended up in uh, Ida, was it Ida? No, wait. We ended up in Butte, Montana. I had to take a. I had to go. For, you know, I had to go down to the Freightliner de dealership, and it's down here in St. George, Utah. So that's why we're back here in St. George, Utah. So we're going to go ahead and check to see. Let's check external contracts to see if there's anything good. I'm down to forty nine thousand dollars, which is not good. I don't want a long run when I'm that low in cash. I don't like long runs, simply because you got to fuel up more. Wait a minute. Wait a wait. Wait, wait a minute. Something's off on this. Okay, look at this. Okay, so these are short. Okay, that makes no sense. Okay, so let's sort the route by route length. Okay, all right. Take this. Dumpsters, okay? $7,000 to do a 1,228-mile run from St. George, Utah to Dallas, Texas, okay? You switch it around. Now these are short. $7,842 go from St. George, Utah to Eli, uh, Eli, Nevada. 225 miles. Much shorter, and you're getting paid a little bit more. I think that's... <laughs> I think it's broken just a little bit. I would have to say, I think it's broken just a little bit on that one. Um. Anyway... Uh, let's see. Mm, I'm thinking about doing this one, but it's only ten grand. I want something a little bit higher than that. Six. I ain't going to California. To Durango. Cars. I think this. Well, this would be an interesting one. Cars. Nineteen thousand five hundred pounds of cars from St. George to Denver. Thirty-three grand. It's a little bit, it's about the same, but you get paid more. The other one was 27, this one is 33 grand. So I think we're going to do this one, cars. Sweet. The Kenworth just pissed me off, I hate that. I really do. I hate that with a passion. I love the Kenworth, don't get me wrong, I love Kenworth in real life. Because, obviously, it has all the right things. But it just freaking pissed me off. Absolutely pissed me off. Royally because of that. Alright, let me get into position now. Alright, cool. Alright. Let's go get our load. Now hopefully Freightliner don't let me down now. So, we're going to actually, at the same time, I don't know if it's modeled in the game. I don't know if it's modeled in the game or not. I have no idea. Um, as far as the, um, like, I know the, oh my god, cop, really? Like, the realistic fuel consumption? I know that's modeled in the game. What is that? What is that? Fire hydrant, looks like. 
Even the mirrors look so much better on the Freightliner. Oh my god! Frickin' cop. Dumbass. God forbid I don't want to run into him. <laughs> but anyway, I wonder if the realistic, like, the fuel consumption is actually uh, modeled in the game. Oh, God, God. Uh, is that a turn lane? Yes, it is. Normally, you wouldn't want to do that. But, you know what? Screw it. Turn left. Because no one wants to turn left. Yay. So because I have all the aero dynamics on the truck, is it properly modeled in the game? That's what I'm trying to refer to. Like, I got all these aero stuff. Oh, and by the way, also, the speedometer, or the speed limit is on the dash. You can see it right there on the dash. So everything you need is on the dash. That's why I like this game so much freaking be- er, game. That's why I like this truck a little bit better. That's why. Alright, let's do this stupid roundabout. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, where's this- where am I going? Okay. I was like, okay, I better not be going, like, far away. But yes, this truck does look much better. Oh, well, I clicked the right button. There we go. It does look much better. And like I said, all the aero stuff on the side of it. I just wonder if it's properly, like, modeled. Like, if I have that in the game, am I saving fuel? That's my question. Am I saving fuel with, with me purchasing that and putting that on my truck? They should model it. That would be pretty cool. That, that would be pretty badass if they did that. But I don't, I don't think it is. It's one of these stupid intersections. That makes no sense. Get ready to turn right. Crossover. Turn right. So that one doesn't have a stoplight, but this one does. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Alright. Sweet. 30 mile per hour limit. I love it. Go straight on. Like I said, I'm not a huge Freightliner fan. But this, God, this is just so freaking nice. Ugh. It really is. It's so nice. They did a great job at modeling this Freightliner. Okay. Keep left and then turn left. Keep left and turn left. All right. Turn left. Stop. So we're in you, yeah. Yeah, I think we crossed over into Utah. Yeah, yeah, we're in Utah. Oddly enough. So there are places that uh, still does need a little bit of optimization in the game. They need to optimize it just a little bit more. It does. It's, it's still a little stuttery here and there, but it's nothing major. Okay. How appropriate. We're, pick, we're picking up cars. Demoro cars! Oh no. Alright. Oh, 
Turn left. Ooh. Oh, there's the check-in down there. All right. All right. Oh, my God. Look at all these pickup trucks. How freaking appropriate because everybody wants a freaking pickup truck. <laughs> all right. Here we are, safe and sound. All right, let's go check in. Okay. What was it? Freight market? I think it was. Yep, there we go. Where's the other one? Oh, my God, that's a long way. All right, we're going to do this one. Uh, St. George, Utah to Denver, Colorado. Colorado. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Where is my trailer? I figured it'd probably be down here. Oh, okay. Well, Alright, that's not what I expected. Alright. That literally isn't what I expected at all. I thought they were the other direction. And they are tight in there, too. So this is going to be fun. All right, which one was it? The one closer to the uh, the building, I believe. Turn Jake break off for now. There he is. Okay. All right, where is it at? There you are. Come on. There we go. We got her. Tap the trailer. Ooh, they're electric. Do the Charlie handle. We're going to do a tug test real quick. Tug, tug test. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get this pulled out here, and we're going to check this trailer out. Wow, they got these trailers in here pretty tight. Let's check this bad boy out real quick. He looks pretty cool. Ooh, all right, so we got three pickup trucks. Three Ford trucks. And the arrow, the, honestly, the arrow stuff really doesn't look that bad on it, even with the oversized. I mean, it's not oversized, but it doesn't look that bad. And that um, header board there on the back of the truck, I think that's a headache rack or whatever you want to call it. I think that was a good call on that one. All right, cool. God, look at that. Look at the, look at the switchbacks. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love the switchbacks on this truck. I always love switchbacks. All right, everything works. Everything's good to go. Let's hit the road, Jack. So we got a normal size trailer, so we don't have to do anything crazy. We're super light. We're not super light, but we're not super heavy like we have been. So that's a plus. Keep right and then turn right. All right, cool. Sweet. Turn right. Oh well. I need my Jake brake on. There we go. Not bad. What is this? I'm going to pull over to this real quick. What is this? What is this? Active viewpoint. Oh. oh, that's so cool. <laughs> wow, okay. Hmm. I've never been to one of these viewpoints before, so I don't know what to expect. Oh, wow. So it's just uh, an overview of the city, in a way, with my truck in it. Parked literally the exact same way. Escape. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, 
I'm going to be right back. I'm going to take a thumbnail real quick. Got the thumbnail done. But our working brain. Ah, uh, of course. There we go. There we go. That's pretty Go cool. I have never done one of those viewpoint things before in a city. I didn't know what to expect. That's pretty cool. I love that the the, the deep the GPS in this truck is so much freaking bigger. It's huge. It's awesome. I hate these stupid round not roundabouts, but these opposite flowing traffic direction things. They said that it's so it's supposed to be better. It's what they say. Keep Keeps the flow of traffic, you know, normal. I don't know about all that. Oh, come on, give me a little bit more room. I'm gonna wait. Um, actually, I might be able to nick by you real quick. Uh, I don't wanna. Uh, you're moving anyway. There we go. Had to mute my phone. <laughs> Alright. We are on the interstate with the brand new truck. Ten miles. I got ten miles. <laughs> I got ten miles on this truck. Oh, man. So far, I love this truck. I mean, I, I've always... I, I kind of had a thing for the... Freightliner Cascadia. They just... I don't know. With those switchback ha um, headlights or the halos, I know you shouldn't like something just because of that. It just looks fantastic. And like I said, I don't know if this skirting or the arrow skirting saves you fuel in the game. I don't know if it's replicated. It does work in real life. Kinda. 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 I mean... You know, you drive a regular truck with no skirting at all. You know, no skirting at all, and then you go into a truck that has skirting like this, complex of one, you can tell a noticeable difference. You can tell quite a noticeable difference with a truck with skirting or with aerodynamic skirting and one without. You can tell a huge difference, especially in fuel economy. You can tell a huge, huge difference. Interesting horn. But, yeah. I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I like this truck so far. <laughs> It really is. God, I hate I had to get rid of that Kenworth, but dang it pissed me off. They just didn't model it correctly. Or properly. You know? It just... If they would have modeled it a little bit better, I probably would have kept it, but... No, it's just, it's just modeled not crappy it's not crappily it crappily it's not crappy made no it's beautiful it's just those little minor nick and picky things that needs to be addressed you know i mean i know they can't get every single detail but if you're going to be putting yourself as a a simulator you need to be you know but engine brake restricted next three miles my engine, or my exhaust is underneath the truck. One of those SRS exhausts or whatever. It's muffled. It's so freaking quiet. If I had the stack coming out of the back, then that would be a different story. But I didn't like the stack out the back. Plus, this headache rack or header board that you have on the back of the truck looks pretty good. So. Should be okay. But yeah, there's so much... Like, a digital dash is just endless things. You know, that's the... Obviously, that's the newest future. 
everything nowadays is going to be is going digital. Most new cars today come with a digital dash. Majority of them do. And it's the future. You could put anything on that little dash versus a regular analog da uh, uh, analog dials. Now, Kenworth does have a digital dash truck. It's the um, Gen 3 trucks. I think they're Gen 3. Gen 2s, I think, has it also. But Gen 3 trucks has it. So, they just didn't model it in the game. If they would have modeled it, I think it would have that little light symbol on You know, the headlight symbol on it. Then I would be able to know if my headlights are on or not. Plus the speed limit. Because this has the speed limit down at the bottom. It has the headlight. Look at that. Side marker lights. Headlight. It has all that. All the goodies on it. Absolutely phenomenal. A+. Plus. Now... You don't have to have this Cascadia, ex you know, you don't have to have this Cascadia to have that display. That'll come in the Western Star, too, because Freightliner and Western Star are the same. And then exit right. Oh, boy. Stop, 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 stop. What's going on? Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh. Jesus. So that means I have to go. So if this way is blocked. Well, I might be able, I might I might be able to go up here and turn around and come back and then take the loop. Might have to do that. Okay. Might have to do that. Oh. Freaking laggy game. Come on. Let's go! Come on! Okay, now you're moving. Exit right. It jumped a little bit because of the... God dang it. Another ticket. Or fine. <sighs> I'm trying to save money on this trip. So I can be building up some money. No! Look at that! It's blocked too! Oh, God. Alright, well, I know you don't want to sit through this mess, so... Whoops, what am I doing? I'll meet back up with you once I get turned around. If you keep wondering why I keep looking to the right, it's because I keep looking at my recording software to make sure it's working properly. I've been having a little bit of issues with it. It just for some reason doesn't like this camera that I have set up, so I'm trying to make sure that it's recording correctly. So I'm actually debating about... I mean, I, I know I don't, I don't want to get a bank loan. By no means, I do not want to get a bank loan in this game. I want to try without a bank loan. But, I'm considering... <laughs> How I said that one. I am considering doing it only to buy some trucks. Problem is, is I have to upgrade the the uh, the garage. So I could buy two truck. I can upgrade the upgrade the garage and buy two trucks. Buy two drive or get two drivers. Hire two drivers. They can probably more than likely get my you know. They can get it back like that, you know. They can get my money back pretty quickly. So, I don't think there's an issue with that at all. I really don't think so. Could be wrong about it, but I don't think there's an issue. Now, I'm just now noticing that front left hood mirror has a black spot on the side. So is that the arm? Oh, God. 
Well, luckily I'm going uphill. Freaking accidents. Accident prone interstate, I swear. I don't like that uh, little black spot there. Uh, just mirrors. So it would be the hood left. Yeah, that's what it is. It's the arm. Uh, we'll put you kind of like that there. There we go. There we go. So, you kind of have to kind of bear with me just a little bit today. I woke up at 1.15 this morning so I could be to work at 2 a.m. And do my trucking jobs. Uh, I am kind of tired. Had dispatch time at like 2 a.m. So, so I am kind of tired. So there are some things that I might, you know, get wrong or do something wrong or whatever. So, ah, like that. <clears throat> so you kind of have to, kind of have to bear with me just a little bit. So don't worry. Broken down car, which is that sucks for you. Sorry, buddy, about that. Always move over. Got a broken down car, broken down truck, whoever, whatever's on the side of that road, on the inside of the interstate, move over. Because you don't know people these days. God, that's so beautiful! Oh! Spectacular. That... Yeah, that's just like that in real life. Looks cool. Um, you don't know who's standing around that car. Number one, you don't know if someone's underneath that vehicle. Number two, you don't know if someone's crouching down and their leg is sticking out because you know how some people like to stick their leg out. Like me. I like to do that. When you're on one knee and when the other, the other leg stuck out and you could crunch that one leg. But that's just some of the things that you learn in truck driving school and and when you get on the job training as far as trucking and all that. They'll tell you stuff like that. Stay out of that right lane if you can. If there's a car bro car or truck or whatever broke down on the shoulder the, on the side of the road. If you can safely move over. If you can't, then just stay. I mean, you, you don't need to force your way over. Now, if it's a cop, try to get over. Same principle, but... Be respectful, you know. Just move over. Don't be a dick. Welcome to colorful Colorado! Yippee! Port of entry. Oh. I'm light. I'm not heavy. You're probably going to pull me in because I'm only 19.5, but you're probably going to pull me in because it's a port of entry. Yep. You freaking butts. Freaking. Butt munchers. <laughs> Dang it. Rerouting. All right, cool. Normally these are roll through scales. You don't stop, you just roll through them. I'm not in technical. Supposed to be stopped at that cone, but there's no stop sign indicating it, so. But this is the actual scale right here. And activate 51557. Very lightweight. I ain't heavy at all. Oh, okay. Now, this is odd, okay. So, the way station, you have you get off the interstate, and then you have to get back on the interstate. Okay. You see those every once in a while. Turn left, and then turn right. Hmm, okay. I'm not hauling a super long trailer, so I don't need to right. make as wide of a turn. Just a freaking habit. 
I would say this car hauler is probably a 40... I would have to say either a 43 or a 48 footer. That would be my guess. Well, let me get around this guy first. Then I'll... I'll start looking. There we go. I don't want to be running in the back of him. I don't need no more fines. There we go. Alright, cool. Alright, so... I'm thinking the way this looks... I mean, it could be a 53. But the way it looks... It looks like it's a... Um, 48. Or even a... Uh, either a 48... Or a 43 footer. Doesn't look too terribly long. I don't know. I'd have to get a 53 footer and put this trailer next to it and see. I mean, I like these trailers. These trailers... These trailers actually do haul pretty pretty well. Even fully loaded, they, they haul pretty well. They're very low to the ground. You gotta be careful about, you know... Um, railroad crossings, any low points or whatever. You got to be very careful about it. Now, it's going on 5 o'clock in the game. I have my side markers on. I'm going to leave them on for now. Just because the game gets a little fussy at you. Um, if you don't have your headlights on. If, at least if you have your side markers on, you can keep going a little bit later in the dark. And then turn on your headlights. Or, shoot, I'll just go ahead and turn them on now the heck turn them on a lot of them say that turn your headlights on for safety we drive with our lights on for safety it's on the back of walmart trucks because they say that you can see a light before a figure or an item so your eye would catch a light before it would a, like a big truck or something so kind of like, I mean, I guess if you're kind of looking down like this, which you're not supposed to, but if you're looking down like this in your peripherals, I'm assuming maybe a headlight or a, or a tail light would catch your, you know, would catch your eye versus seeing a big object or something, something like that. That's what they claim, so... Luckily, my company never enforced us if we had to do it. I mean, I can give a crap about it, but when you buy your own headlights, your own LED headlights for your truck, I don't want to use them as much. Only, Obviously, only at nighttime, but I don't want to wear them out. You know, they were expensive. The company didn't pay for them. I paid for them out of my own pocket. Oh, this, yep, Colorado. I don't think Colorado has the, those arms. Maybe in some areas, but I don't think the entire Colorado has those arms. Wyoming does. But I don't think they do here. Where are you? Western Star or International? International. I could just tell by the grill. It's ugly. And it drives like crap. Ah, oh, he actually backed off. We're getting into the mountain territory, and it's starting to get a little laggy in here. Now, I th I believe these eight the uh, American Truck Sim. I believe these are one to eight scale, or one to twelve scale maps. I believe. Just imagine if they're like one to two scale, because there are some games out there that are one to two, and that would be insane the time it would take from point A to point B. Because obviously, one-to-one -one scale, obviously that's like real life, and it would take days for you to get, you know, across country. I remember my very first trucking game I've ever gotten was 18 wheels of steel pedal to the metal, and I played that game until it caught fire. Not literally, figuratively, but that game was so much fun it was more of an arcadey 
simulator type. Or not really a simulator, but more of an arcade game. Odd trailer. And with it being more arcade it was just a pain in the rear, you know? It's It really was. Like, if you look at the time here. 7.29. Well, let me bring up the bigger screen. I know I've mentioned this before, but look at 7.30 p.m., 7.31 p.m., 7.32 p.m., 33, 34. So, it... it it goes by very slow, okay? Well, in 18 wheels of steel, pedal to the metal, it, it like literally does 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. I mean, it just constantly. And not to change subjects, this is the Ike gauntlet. Like literally the Ike. Oh, well, I'm going under speed limit, so we're going to have to do that. Eh, you don't do that. Okay, then. Fine. This is when the engine fan would kick in. Ooh, and it would try to cool the truck down because the truck would be really hot. In fact, let's see what... Temperature. 188 degrees, well... It's a little laggy up here. <laughs> Stage one fire ban. Oh god, look at that look. Ooh, it's a little laggy up here. Yep, Eisenhower Tunnel. They call it the Johnson Tunnel, but it's the Eisenhower Tunnel. Oh no, here's a here's a, a little checkpoint or a viewpoint from up here on this side, but Nah, I ain't gonna stop. I ain't got to, I I don't feel like stopping then I have to get going again and all that. I'd just rather just keep on trucking. Keep on going. Ugh. Where's it at anyway? It's not there anyway. It says that it's there, but it actually wasn't there. Oh god, I can go downhill. It's not quiet this engine brake is it's not quiet this engine brake is on max it's super freaking quiet <laughs> it's so quiet that's that SRS exhaust for you super freaking quiet I remember my first time I drove a truck in the mountains. I was so scared. Like, I would, like, if speed limit says 45, I would be doing 45. And I would be, like, white-knuckled because I was so worried. And then if you see runaway truck ramp, I'd be so worried. I ain't worried about it now. Just right down, right down the mountain. No problem. No problem at all. Couldn't read that sign fast enough. I was going to. It says, Truckers, you are not down... something. There we go. Finally. Stop the chirping. Oh, God. We're going, like, on the other side of Denver. Look how freaking big Denver is, according to the map. Wow. And there's a question mark up there, so... That has me wondering, what is up there? Colorado. I love Colorado. Freaking love it. I don't like the winter. Winter's horrible there. But summertime, woo-wee! Love it. Freaking love it. So beautiful, gorgeous. <gasps> Ooh, Denver International Airport. Wait a minute, am I going to the airport? I am. <gasps> I'm going to Denver Airport. I didn't know that terminal oh my gosh oh this is awesome i did not know Exit right. there's the airport Get ready to turn right. yep that's denver airport turn right and then keep left that's denver airport for you Oh, 
Okay. All right, you're going straight, so we're going to go this way. Oh, we got a stop sign. <laughs> Come on, get you going. You're not that heavy. So what they're probably doing with these cars, they're probably importing them. They're exporting them out of America. And importing them into another country. Maybe. I don't know. That could be a bunch of mumbo jumbo, I don't know. But it's the airport. There's the planes, I see a plane. I don't know how you guys can see it, but there's a plane. Ooh. Well, we'll we'll do ah ah wrong lane. Sorry. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. Two. Oh, I'm so done with this game. Um, how do I get rid of that? What button do I have? Map. I'm in the wrong lane. Because I'm trying to look at the viewpoint. Okay, there's the viewpoint. Get me over. Keep Dang it. And then turn right. uh, sorry. Oh, well. Right. Alright. We made it, finally. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Um, uh, what date? You want up there? All right, thank you. Mm, he said, "Oh, right there, right there." Just a simple parking this time. I have it on random parking, so there we go. Pop that. And we'll turn that bad boy off. And we'll go to here. Oh my goodness. Look how good that looks. It looks so good. It looks so good. Oh my god. I love that. I love that look. Freaking love it. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Ooh. Electronic jacks. Sweet. Excellent. St. George of Denver. Even though I hit two cars along the route freaking morons oh and i ranked up sweet um i'm gonna i should start i should get into hazardous uh let's see explosives gases flammable liquids flammable solids um corrosive um right here uh, flammable liquids. We're going to do liquids, which is going to be gas, diesel, or kerosene. Yep. Ooh, explosives. Hazmat transportation. Oh, transportation training. Oh. Ah. The transportation of dangerous goods demands well-trained professionals. Use your hard-earned experience to acquire and follow U.S. DOT hazmat certificate Cert certificate cert certificates good god a substantially increase your income yeah it'll increase it all right all right i want to go over and see that uh viewpoint all right let's go back in put you in all right how do i get out of here oh probably one way in one way out Yep. No. Alright. I'll go out this way. Thank you. Have a good day. Come on. Come on! Go! What are you doing? Fucking moron! I'm following like literally right behind you! <laughs> uh. Four wheelers, I swear. 
All right. Let's do that. We're going to pop over right here. In fact, we're going to probably overnight right here. There we go. I need to pop my brakes, turn the truck off, and we'll get on out. Now, let's see what this does. Denver Airport. Nice. Oh, God, that looks so good. I love that truck. Oh, my goodness. Denver International Airport. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to Denver International Airport. Yep, there's the horse. Oh, that's freaking awesome, guys. Wow. <gasps> Whoa, what a... Wow, okay, so it's okay. Now, wouldn't that be awesome if we could deliver, like, to the planes? Like, actually to the planes? Wow. That was pretty good. I like that cutscene. Alright, guys. Well, what would you guys think? What'd you guys think of the new truck? I love the new truck. I love this truck. It freaking drives awesome. It's amazing. And I'm really thrilled with it. It looks good. Looks sharp. And, uh, yeah. So, what do you guys think? So, anyway, guys. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.